The story Parasite follows two families in South Korea, a poor family and a rich family. Obviously, it's more complex than that, but you get what I mean. It depicts the poor family's attempt to infiltrate the rich family and the house they live in, which is basically a character of its own. One of the things I love most about Parasite's narrative, and the reason why so many people across the world have identified with the film, is because the story feels weirdly realistic. This is something that could actually happen, which is a really scary thought, but of course, I feel what makes it even better is that there are enough moments that feel perhaps larger than life for us to create a sense of escapism, but from a narrative point of view. This is a film that will manipulate you intellectually and emotionally. You feel like it is genuinely controlling you in all the best way and once it's over, it doesn't let go and there's nothing scarier and there is nothing more impressive than that. The film also uses semiotics in such a genius way that it became emotive. The first one is how they use the stone as symbolism of wealth, goal, and aspirations. And also one of the most notable things is the motive of smell. Take a look at this scene. Hi, uh, so today we are here with two of my closest friends and they are here to scrutinize this scene from Parasite. is from the end most part of the film and it is one of the breakthrough of the story or one of the climax and can you please give me your insights or thoughts about this scene mm, I'll go first. well uh, I think there's really a lot to dissect in this clip but what is really noticeable for me is like one of the protagonists is, like, having its moment of enlightenment with the socioeconomic division they have yeah, I agree. And the symbolism of smell is presented that became the breakthrough of his murder. Mm, true. And like, you know, like from the previous frame, there was uh, the fly from the previous frame really, I think, accentuates that you know the uh, the mentally unstable or poor man has this foul smell that like like separates them from the rich and like privileged people. Yeah. 
yeah, it's not only about the smell actually, but the whole attitude of every character yeah. in the scene. You can see how the rich father was only concerned about getting his son yeah. to the hospital yeah. and turning a blind eye to the daughter from the poor family who was literally yeah. bleeding to death in front of him. The poor father was already confused when he saw him completely ignoring his own dying daughter. Then yeah. to add salt to yeah. injury, how disgusted the rich father was towards the smell of the poor murderer. With all this, it ultimately reminds the protagonist how much the rich family would undermine and disrespect him and his loved ones solely because of their socioeconomic division. For me, that is the whole essence of this film and this scene perfectly encaptures that. Yeah, it's true. Because like, even if it, it also shows that like, even if um, they're clearly, obviously, the ones that needed the um, you know immediate help, but the the rich father was still, you know, still very worried of his family, the guests, even though they weren't they weren't even that badly injured or they weren't yeah. bad, they weren't injured at all. So like, yeah, I think that was yeah. really the triggering point for the breakdown of the poor father. Yeah. Yeah. Parasite is so perfectly calibrated that there is joy to be in just experiencing every confident frame of it. But then that's tempered by thinking how what Bong is unpacking here and saying about society, especially with the perfect, absolutely haunting final scenes. I really recommend this movie for everyone who just wants a kiss of reality and wants something that embodies how the society really works, especially in the lower classes. This has been the Thank you.